the third tutorial is about the leather material be, uh, because it doesn't look like that out of the box you have to set it up uh, a bit first uh, so we're gonna recreate this leather uh, and we'll it will be named leather demo and we'll uh, copy the mask that I already made copy mask paste into mask and yeah everything is fine now let's find some leather and we're gonna use this one but this works with uh, any any leather from the game textures um, dot com site this one is uh, work in progress I'm not sure if it's gonna be cold like that uh, and out of the box uh, this leather looks like this so not very good uh, we're gonna have to fix the height the uh, scale and the roughness for it to be to look better so let's start with uh, height it's going to have to be much lower and let's try the scale and the scale is quite tricky because um, you it's important to uh, hit the proper scale because you go too much and what you see here are not the uh, uh, the little wrinkles in the leather itself these are the big wrinkles from the um, the whole sheet of leather so what we want are these wrinkles here something like that uh, to be sure I'll check what scale I used here I used 9.5 and I think since this this letter uses um, bitmaps in it it would be better if we just set it to 10 uh, we're gonna change the uh, roughness so let's go to the main parameters and base roughness. Let's let's set it higher. Let's check with the this one. create one uh, duplicate of this material for the convex parts and one for the concave parts uh, so let's duplicate this and the black mask So 
what we are trying to do with this mask is just create the mask for the concave parts using I think only ambient occlusion uh, no, I also used curvature so the way we do it is uh, the generator we're gonna use the mask editor um, and to see what we're doing we're just gonna alt click on the mask and go back to the uh, editor so the main part will be the ambient occlusion and since we are have a black mask uh, and ambient occlusion is set to multiply we don't see anything we want it to be set to screen and we want these parts that are now black to be white so we'll invert uh, and it looks okay then we'll add some information from the curvature I think that's all the info we'll get from the curvature let's add the ambient occlusion okay this is our concave mask and in the concave areas usually uh, there is accumulated dirt uh, which is usually darker from the material that we have so we'll uh, we'll set the luminosity to be lower you can also see uh, the leather is uh, higher than the materials over it and the height information uh, is set to linear, linear, linear dodge in Substance Painter let's change it to replace everywhere replace 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 we get rid of this uh, height information uh, so we get darker areas when we where we have the concave uh, material and we want it to be more rough okay We can also um, control how much of the effect we have using the balance slider in the mask editor. But I think it was okay. 1.5, maybe even too much. For the convex parts, we're, we're gonna duplicate the material as well. It's gonna be called convex uh, black mask generator mask editor and this time we're just gonna use the curvature information uh, we're gonna see the mask by alt clicking and we want less information in the big areas more information in the sharp I think what I did before is I just used the information here. Okay. And this material will be also more rough because leather here is uh, worn out so from scratching uh, 
uh, or from contact with other objects. So we'll set the roughness to be higher. Uh, and we want it to be uh, lighter because it's worn out. So let's go with luminosity higher. Let's drop a bit on the saturation and the effect is a bit too strong. Let's go to point five, maybe five. This is how the material looks like. 